Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you're doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have another offering from Vever. I'm very excited to share this one with you. This is a 20-amp MPPT solar charge controller. This is a controller that I've been using for quite some time and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's take a, a closer look at this one. So my apologies for the poor lighting in this room, but here you can see two similar models. These are, this is rebranded by Renogy and this one is, this was a 40 amp and that's a 20 amp. The same one that we're doing in the video rebranded by Rich Solar. So these are fantastic charge controllers. I've been using them a long time and they work very well and let's go ahead and open this up and see what comes included in this package first thing that we see here is the user manual now feel free to pause your screen I'm gonna thumb through this fairly quickly this is in case there might be somebody out there that needs some of this valuable information these user manuals nowadays are pretty good they're packed full of lots of good information so hopefully you'll enjoy this section. I'll try to get through it quickly. Here is a page that shows a diagram of everything on the charge controller. However, I'll be talking a lot about this charge controller. Um, this is a model that I use and I'm very familiar with. In fact, I've got other videos on my channel using a rebranded version of this same exact charge controller. It'll be that Renogy uh, 40 amp Rover video. I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can take a look at that video. But uh, the user manual is always good to look at. So here we go. Now when you connect these things, you always want to connect the battery to the charge controller first and then connect your solar panels. So very nice. There we are. These are your error codes that you, you that you could run into. Here's a couple more. And then here are some of the technical parameters of this charge controller. Very cool. This is your default parameters for your battery types. We are going to be using a lithium iron phosphate battery today in this video, so we're going to be looking at this column. We're almost done, folks. And here is an email for support in case you need to get a hold of Vever. Now, the next thing that we see in the package is the battery temperature sensor. Very nice that they include this. So if you're using a lead acid battery, this is something that you would need. It'll help give the charge controller the information on the temperature of the battery and it will adjust its charging parameters based on the temperature of your battery. So very cool. Here is the charge controller itself. And then of course in the bottom here you have a card which has information here and it also serves as a template. So you can knock these little piece, pieces out, put them against your wood, and then you know exactly where to put your screws. So very cool that they include that card that you can use as a template. Very nice. Now as you can see, this charge controller came packaged very well. I like the foam that they put on the charge controller. 
they did a good job on their packaging so we'll just go ahead and open this up you can see that it comes in a little bag and then there is a, a little sticker on the bag here I'll show you it's basically warning you from your children suffocating on this bag so make sure that you don't leave those out if you have little kids in the in the room so here is the first look at this 20 amp charge controller there are many many charge controllers that are exactly like this they are just rebranded so I'm very familiar with this model it works very well now if we take a closer look right here there are some of the specifications of this unit it does support 24 volt or 12 volt and this unit does auto detect your battery bank so right here on the side you can see there's another sticker with some information there there's a look at the top of the unit and you got these big aluminum heat dissipating fins so very nice and then this these are the holes where you would put your screws and you see that the weight of the charge controller will just drop down onto those screws here are your terminals this is where your battery temperature sensor goes you have photovoltaic positive and minus you have battery positive and minus and then your load positive and minus then you have this RS232 port which is fantastic this gives you the ability to buy an optional external Bluetooth module so that's very cool but that's a look at the charge controller very nice the other ones that I've used they have little screw holes here this one doesn't seem to have that but you have these little angle brackets that come off that mount to this part but this one doesn't seem to have that now this charge controller is MPPT that's multi power point tracking and that's a lot more efficient than PWM that pulse with modulation up to 30 percent more effective the conversion efficiency rating of this is 98 percent so very very nice now if you're running a 12 volt system you can get away with up to 260 watts on this charge controller and if you're running a 24 volt system you can get away with 520 watts this charge controller does support many different battery types you can use AGM you can use gel you can use lead acid flooded batteries lithium lithium iron phosphate and others it even has a custom setting where you can uh, change parameters the LCD display here you have a nice screen and then like I mentioned earlier you do have that RS232 communication port that's pretty cool it does have temperature sensing capability so that it can automatically adjust your charging modes based on your environmental temperatures outside so very cool it does have five different protection systems it's got battery reverse polarity protection it has photovoltaic reverse polarity protection photovoltaic short circuit protection you have overcurrent protection and then you also have that fifth that what they call TVS lightning protection so in the event of a lightning strike now this does have three different charging modes the first mode is what they call fast charging second mode is what they call balance charging and it'll also float charge on lead acid batteries now on the LCD screen there are several things that you can look at you can look at the battery type you can look at the, the charging current you can look at the solar panel power and you can also see your remaining battery capacity this charge controller has automatic regulation algorithm and it uses temperature detection sensor like I showed you earlier that's included you put that on the battery and it will adjust according to the temperature of your battery the dimensions of this unit it is 5.91 inches wide that's 150 millimeters it's 8.27 inches tall or 210 millimeters and it is 2.36 inches thick this measurement here 60 millimeters now the maximum direct current charging amperage that you can bring out of this charge controller is 20 amps and it does like I mentioned earlier support 12 or 24 volt direct current 
Now this unit does support 100 volts direct current. Now the working temperature or operating temperature of this solar charge controller is minus 20 degrees centigrade all the way up to 50 degrees centigrade. Now if you want to look at that in Fahrenheit, that is minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The weight of this unit it is 1.2 kilograms or 2.65 pounds. I'm really excited about this one. It's a very, very good charge controller. Let's go ahead and hook it up to a battery. Okay, as you can see, we have a lithium phosphate battery back here. I've got this wire here is my positive and this other wire is my negative. Now, we'll go ahead and plug the positive into the battery positive right here. I'll set that down for a second. A lot of times you would do this when it's already mounted to a piece of plywood or something. Now we'll take the negative wire. We'll stick it in there. Tighten that up. And now you can see that the charge controller comes to life. At this point, we want to set the battery type so let me show you how that works so right here you see a little indicator and it says sealed what we're gonna do is we're gonna push and hold this right button and you see this flashing now we can use our up or down keys to get this over to lithium so there's gel there's lithium now we'll push enter now we'll select our battery voltage so we're going to be running a 12 volt system now we'll push enter so we have our battery type and our voltage set on this unit so we'll just push and hold this button until we get back to the main screen now you can see lithium and you can see the battery voltage and we are at 12 volts so at this point we're going to go ahead and connect the solar panel so here on the back side of the building i have a solar panel with the wires just going up into my area these are my solar wires i'm going to just go ahead and connect the negative in first we're going to go to pv minus and this is a number eight size wire so we'll just <laughs> screw that down let's go a little farther Tighten these down a little bit better. Don't want them coming loose on me. Now we'll take the positive and we'll just put the positive in there. Photovoltaic positive. These terminals are plenty large. So now we are connected to solar. Very simple. So now that we have the connection to solar and I got a little bit of sun out there you can see this indicator is telling us that we have solar power going to the battery we also have this top light that is our solar panel LED this is our battery LED this is our load LED and this is a fault LED so if you want to turn on this load which is these terminals right here to be used for light duty things you just push this button right here and you'll notice that the load light has illuminated right here and you'll also see that it's energizing the load which means you're just adding 12 volt to these terminals to turn it off it's it's very simple we're just going to push that button again and this will turn off and you'll notice that that LED for the load has also turned off and these two terminals are now de-energized so it's a very nice charge controller okay right now we are looking at the main monitoring page and if I push this down button we can see the voltage that the solar panel is producing we can push to this screen and this is the component voltage this screen tells us our battery voltage this screen is telling us our load current this is the charging current this is our load current 
this is our device temperature and this is our load mode and lastly this is where we would find our error codes if we have any error codes and then now we're back to the main monitoring page I want to say thank you to Vever for sending this charge controller out for review I really like it well folks that's all I have for you today on this video I hope you enjoyed the video these charge controllers are manufactured and then rebranded with lots of other people putting their name on them they are very reliable. I've been using them for a long time. These are fantastic charge controllers. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of this 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller by Vever. If you're interested in this unit, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.